All right, today we're gonna swirl another guitar body. I've got a Tele here, Poplar Tele, painted white with Zinsers primer. I'm gonna be using different paints today, these one-shot paints, enamel-based paints. Some of the testing that I've done with these paints has actually turned out really nice. This is a half swirl with just a little bit of paint that I've been testing. The colors on this paint are actually outstanding. The way the colors sit, there's a little bit of blotchiness, but the blue and the red are really, really vibrant. So in my tests, I've had some really good results, so I wanted to try a full guitar body today. I noticed in my last couple videos, the water wasn't warm enough, wasn't it? 78 degrees, it was about 60 something. My heater actually had broken. So now I've got a hot water spigot here to get some hot water. So I'm gonna pour the paints in, swirl them around. I'm gonna try and wait a little bit longer this time. Make sure the paints have actually settled out. We'll start with the blue. What's nice is that these are really contrasting colors. So I noticed in my last couple of videos, I've been doing too much. So I'm just gonna slowly kind of swirl these around. So I know from my past swirls that where the red is really sticking together, it's kind of blobbing, it'll leave a run. So what I'm doing is just trying to stretch them out a little bit here and get this really nice swirl pattern. You can see the colors really are outstanding with this paint. really move them around. So I've also noticed that there's a trick to letting the paint sit so that it spreads out. I don't really know how long that is to be honest yet. So I'm gonna give it another 20, 30 seconds here. You see the blue is spread out really nice. It's skinned over a little bit on the edges, but the coloring with these one-shot paints is, is 
Outstanding. So again, this is my Zinsser coated telly. This water's got the borax in it. It's about 78 degrees. I'm gonna go in and dip. That looks pretty awesome. One splotch right there. Back looks pretty cool. A couple splotches. We'll let this sit, see what it turns out. The color is outstanding. You know, even with the splotches, the color looks really cool. I'll take this to the hair dryer and dry some of this off. 24 hours later, this guitar looks outstanding. There's only one run out here in the front. The runouts in the back actually dried nice, so they were kind of blobs. It's just this runout here in the front. I'm gonna try and maybe sand a little bit off before I put a clear coat on this. What's really nice about this paint is it has a hard finish, that really hard, durable finish, kind of like Rust-Oleum, but, but this paint actually works on the water. When I did buy this, the gentleman told me that the red might be a little bit old. I might have some trouble floating it. I did try to thin it a little bit and I didn't get much success. It wasn't really spreading all that well, but the blue you can see spread really well and that was kind of the base coat. The colors on this are outstanding. They're really deep, really just bright and vibrant. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I know I've got that run out, but I, I know my red's not perfect. So definitely gonna continue to use one shot paint going to buy another uh, 10 colors from Amazon. I think you can get them for 100 bucks, and you can do multiple swirls. So really happy with this one-shot paint, and you'll see maybe one or two more videos of, of this here. Thanks.